Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find trending topics in your niche quick and easy. I'm Vincent Did you know Man Institute, and let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is you want to go to your Chrome Web Store and you want to install an extension called VidIQ. Okay, and this is what it looks like. You can go ahead and click this. And since I've already have it installed, I'm not going to go ahead and click that. But you can go ahead and click this and install VidIQ. Once you have VidIQ, it'll look like this. Uh, it'll look a little bit different than this because this is the paid version. Um, but it looked very similar to this. All right. So this is the free version. You can go ahead and try it out. But I highly recommend if you're going to use this technique to just upgrade to the lowest uh, lowest tier membership for it to work out. All right. So now that you have VidIQ installed, you want to go ahead and go into your your YouTube search bar and type in a niche that is similar to uh, your channel. So for example, if I'm doing something in crypto, I would go ahead and type in uh, crypto oops all right and then from here I would go to filter I would go to channel all right wait for it to load and then I would scroll down now what am I looking for I'm looking for their subscriber right why am I doing it I'm doing this because I want to follow someone who is around what I have so for example if I'm 1,000 subscribers that's what I want to follow the mistake most people make by using this tool it's a good tool but it is just a tool is that they follow the biggest person or the most famous person and they try to get their keywords or their trending videos and it fails because what this person can trend for is not what I can trend for they can trend for a lot of different videos because of their sheer subscribers Right? that can push their views and push their comments. But if I were to go ahead and do that, I would fail miserably. So that's why you don't follow big subscribers. You follow uh, someone who is roughly, you know, your, uh, has the same amount of followers as you. So let, w what do you do if you have absolutely zero followers? I would recommend following someone who has around maybe like 600 subscribers, right? Not, not, nothing too high. Um, around 600 so this is one one K subscriber right what you do is you want to uh, go in here let's say if you have 1k all right you want to go to trending videos and if this doesn't show up then you just go ahead and refresh the video sometimes it just doesn't show up and you want to see what they have okay so they don't have any trending videos that's fine keep going and remember you're looking for subscribers all right, this one has uh, 1036 Okay, let me go home. Let me go trending. Okay, nothing here. Let's keep going. Okay, I'll try this one. All right, so this is a trending video. This is currently trending right now. All right, and it's in crypto. Unfortunately, I, I don't really understand if this is uh, I don't know, English or Spanish or what language this is, but this is what's trending. And if you're around 1K subscriber, you can use this right away and create a video uh, similar to this, and you would also capture a fraction of this video. If you, if you made it longer or if you made it uh, different, maybe better, right, you can po possibly capture more. Right? But it's showing you in real time that... This video is this video topic is trending for this this uh, niche, okay. And what you want to do is you want to have like a list of ten different, maybe ten or more different channels that are very similar to your subscriber base. All right. So let me show you exactly. I, I've done this exact same thing. I, I I'm I practice what I preach. This is exactly what I have. All right. So let me go with uh, this one right here. All right, as you can see, this one has a, a very similar, you know, maybe exploring digital world. You go to, all I do is go to trending and I can see what videos are trending within my niche, all right? This is real time. So this person has created the content, has posted it, and is getting real time feedback that's currently showing that it's trending. So now all I have to do is create a similar video that's maybe a different spin, maybe my own flair, and from there, I, I can capture a portion of this. Now, how much I can capture of this depends on, of course, the quality of my video, right? Like, if I make it better than this, I might capture more or same, right? 
Uh, if I make it worse than this, I might only capture 0.3 right, views per hour instead of the 12. But this is very, very powerful. Unfortunately, though, in order to see the maximum vol um, number of, of trending videos per channel, you would have to upgrade to the boost package. Let me go ahead and check what that is real quick. Okay, so the the basic plan only allows you to have maybe one, right? For trend, oh, sorry, trending alert. Let me see the trend. Okay, it doesn't really show you. I think they took it out. But in order to see the trending videos, to and that's that's what you're using this for. I highly recommend using the pro account. It's only seven fifty a month, but it saves you a lot of time. And on top of that, let me show you other, you know. Um, let me show you other methods that failed for me and why. Because it's good to share what worked, which which I like to show. Like I'm showing you right now what, what works for me and what I'm finding huge success with is using this AI vidIQ tool to do my keyword research. But what failed is that I, I, I took bad advice on YouTube. And the advice was to go on Google Trends. Right? Let me go to Google Trends. And it was to basically type in your keywords. So you, the, the advice I hear a lot on some YouTube channels is to go ahead and go on you, you, uh, Google Trends, type in, let's say, crypto, keep it the same. And then from there, you, you would uh, scroll down and see what related queries they have. And then from there, you would go ahead and, and you know, you, you can also do filters. All right, but. The problem with this method uh, is number one, it's free. So everyone, everyone's pretty much using this. <laughs> All right, everyone's going to be using the free tool. And the two, the second thing is, by the time you get to this data, uh, it's already saturated, right? Because it's, it has a low barrier ent to entry. It's free, right? Um, this is kind of old. Like this is not like a hundred percent real time. This is kind of like delayed. So everyone has access to this information, and everyone's going to be making uh, videos on this. So by the time you hit it up uh, and create a content on this, it's going to be uh, no longer trending. So that's why. Uh, I mean, this is this is good, I guess, if you want to see the overall trend of a niche. But if you want re uh, to find like the hottest trending topic in real time. VidIQ is the way to go. It, it shows you exactly what is trending right now in views per hour, right? And no other tool that I, that I've seen so far can can do that accurately. Uh, this this tool is, I think, a game changer. So uh, let me just review the tips real quick. Number one, you install VidIQ. Number two, you would make a list of similar channels to yours in the same niche. Okay, so I would mi minimum at the minimum do ten. And then from there, check out the trending video content and make one that make a video that's similar similar to theirs or better, preferably better. Okay, so I hope this uh, video was helpful because this is exactly what I did as a small channel to grow it, and it, it's done wonders. So if it was helpful. Could you please hit that like button? I'm Vince from Digital Manitou, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.